Hello everybody. In my last video in my story snippets series, I was talking about how I wanted to be a physio and the difficulties that I had in finding somewhere to study and how finally I was I found out about the North London School of Physiotherapy. So I started the enrollment process just as I was finishing school because I had lots of time because the school year in the UK doesn't start until September as opposed to the Australian academic year that starts in February. So I enrolled and they accepted my written application. Um, it was unlike really any university application process that I've been through since or any other enrollment process really. Um, it was quite unusual. I had to um, I had to fill in forms, as you do for normal university enrollment. Then I had to write a story about why I wanted to be a physio. Uh, which was fine. Then I had to do a whole host of physical tests. I had to go to one of the physio schools in Sydney. I had to do jumping jacks. I had to walk on a balance beam. I had to put four stools in a square four feet apart um, or something similar and the idea that I wasn't I couldn't reach between the two stools to you know see how far they were apart and I had to put four stools in a square which was measured and the measurements were all written down which is incredibly hard if you if you can't see where you're putting well I, I don't know I found it really really hard anyway um, I challenge anyone who's cited to put four stools in a square exactly four feet apart without touching um, there's more than one stool at a time. Uh, then I had to walk along beside a wall, um, I think it was something like eight inches from the wall without touching the wall. I found out later that the whole idea of all this stuff was to was to check out my mobility orientation and mobility skills and my ability to judge distances and my spatial awareness. So anyway, I completed all those tests as best I could. Oh, I also had to bandage someone's knee and bandage someone's arm and all that, which was fine. Um, and so completed all those tests and off I went to London. With my mum, she came with me because I had, I, I didn't know what I would need over there. And so I took everything. I took a Perkins Brailler, which is, is this steel contraption which weighs about four kilos. I took heaps of braille books because I didn't know what I'd need over there. Um, even though it was a school for the blind, I, I didn't really know what was provided over there. So I took boxes and boxes of stuff. We had to get special permission from the airline to, to um, take all this stuff over. So mum took me over to London and I started studying physio. It turns out though that uh, the result of all those tests showed that I had problems with my spatial awareness, which of course I wasn't aware of. The only thing I knew was that I couldn't do something like hold a bowl of soup level or carry a tray or, you know, something like that. And I just thought that all blind people were like that, but obviously not. There are other blind people who can do those sorts of things better because they have a better awareness of where their body is in space. So they suspected that I had spatial awareness problems because of the results of my tests, but they didn't tell us that. Um, until I'd got to the school, I'd spent a term studying there, or two terms, I started in September, I ended up leaving in February, so um, five months studying there. Um, we'd outlaid the 16,000 pounds tuition I must have only been one term, £16,000 tuition, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, to cut a long story short, I uh, was told that I should come back to Australia and do something more academic because my um, skills and my experiences over there, they had observed me and they had confirmed that, yes, in fact, I did have spatial awareness problems, so I should come back and do something more academic. Thankfully, my father, in his wisdom, when I had actually got my Australian university entrance score he suggested that I apply for something just in case just as a backup plan so I applied to study commerce so I had that waiting for me when I came back um, and I will talk to you a little bit about 
that in my next story snippets video.